Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so what's going on, guys? Summer is on its way, and I know some of you are in the process of maybe booking holidays, or you want to trim down some of that excess body fat you would have put on during your gaining phase, or clothes maybe getting too tight around the wrong areas, or maybe you just want to look better naked. Either way, don't worry, today I'm going to be putting you on. All right, so today I'll be explaining everything that you need to know about your abs. Let's get into it. Okay, so what we need to understand is we all have abs. Yes, even you. Your abs are made up of completely different sections. You've got your rectus abdominals, obliques, as well as your serratus, transverse abdominals. But we're not here to overcomplicate things, all right? All right, so there are people who will say that you don't need to train your abs and you can just rely on your compound lift. In my opinion, I feel that relying on your compound lift will only carry you so far. If you want a muscle to develop, same with every other muscle group, like your back, your chest, your arms, you will need to train it. If you want them to show, then that's where your diet will come into play. So to get the best results, I like to choose exercises that you can take your muscles through full range of motion. So full flexion and extension of the spine. So bro, I saw this exercise online and you just slam the ball as hard as you can into my stomach, all right? Right, ready? Right, one, two. Instead of like crunch type movements or static movements, they do work, but I will personally choose something where you can stretch and squeeze. So here are some exercises that I would highly recommend you add into your routine. Firstly, we've got hanging leg raises. Hanging leg raises are a great exercise to target your lower abs. The only issue with this movement is that your grip may give way way before your abs do. So this is where we can add in some ab slings into your workout, which will help you get a few more extra quality repetitions. We could also do laying leg raises, but me personally, I prefer to put a bench on a decline. And what this does is it allows me to take, again, my abs through a bit more range of motion and it makes it exercise a little bit more challenging. So another exercise that I recommend you add into your routine is using an ab wheel. It is a tough exercise. Not a lot of you can do it. It hurts, but it hurts in a good way. So if you can do it, 100% recommend adding it into your routine. If you can't do it and you're not strong enough yet, then maybe you can do a cable crunch movement or a, a sit-up or a weighted sit-up. So now moving on to our obliques. So those muscles, what I said, used for flexion and rotation. Okay, we can do some side bends, which do um, target the muscle. However, I don't like to do that exercise just because I don't want to build up the muscle in that direction. Me personally, I prefer to do a rotational movement. Reason being is I don't actually do enough rotational exercise in my routine. Everything is done in a sagittal plane, which means just straight lines. So if I am going to work my obliques, I prefer to do a, a cable chop where you can do it standing or kneeling. Right, so Nathan, you said we all have abs. Why can't I see mine? Well, as I said before, abs, are built in the gym, but they will show from what you do in the kitchen, okay? So in order to make them show, we've all heard these two words before, calorie deficit. We need to make sure that we are in a consistent calorie deficit for them to show. So making sure that we're putting in less calories in our body than we're expending, than we are expending. Another way to do this as well is by increasing our calorie expenditure, so making sure that we're moving more. So for example, setting a step target. If you are on average hitting 6,000 steps a day, you can maybe increase it by an extra 2,000 and this will help bump your calorie expenditure. So all right, next point, we have to remain disciplined. There are gonna be times quite often where our temptations are tested. You're gonna have your mum offering you pudding or your friends offering you whatever snacks it is. You have to learn how to say the words no for the majority. If you are saying yes, then it's game over for you, okay? Learn how to say no and you will be setting yourself up for success. We all come in different shapes and sizes. It may take you a little bit longer to get leaner. It might take, or quicker than your friend, you might have a four pack or a six pack or an eight pack. It all depends on the cards that you've been dealt with, okay? So remember, your journey may be slightly different to someone else's, okay? So work with what you've got, stay consistent and just trust the process. You can't treat it like a race. So the faster you achieve something, the quicker it is gonna be for your body to, to lose it. Take time, let your body adjust to your new habits that you've created for yourself. Give it three to six months. I said before, trust the process and you'll be unrecognizable. So still prioritize your weight training. You will achieve a much better look doing that. So building the rest of your body, you don't wanna be starting a workout by doing your abs, okay? Do your weight session, do whatever you need to do and then spend 10, 15 minutes at the end of a normal weight session focusing on your abs and that is enough. Okay, so achieving abs isn't about 
dialing your body fat right down to single digits. You can get the look that you most likely will want at about 10 to 15% body fat, okay? If you are maybe competing or maybe getting ready for a photo shoot or a magazine shoot or whatever it is, then you may need to dial down to lower body fat digits. If that's what you're doing, then keep doing you. But for the majority of us, 10 to 15% is enough for our abs to show for our clothes to still fit us and for us to still perform in the gym. Reminder, so the leaner we get, the more difficulties that may come your way, okay? So just choose your goal wisely. Right, that is it guys. Everything that you need to know to achieve your abs goal this summer in this video. Like, subscribe, and take action.